so this tool is like, dude, this tool is sick. So, like, let's say you want to select all these faces, and like, so basically, I was like, you know, I'm looking at this, and I already did it over here. So like, adding a nice little angle in here with like super super minimal effort, and so I was like, all right, maybe I can try it here. So take these two verts, just connect them, and then let's select these faces, and then let's grab this edge, and then let's go to rotate face. Let's pull it down a little bit, like that. And then let's mark this outer edge sharp. And let's toss a little crease there. Bam. And so like we just got a really, really nice fall off. And then we can come in, like I need to clean this up. It's pretty sloppy. Um, Okay, a really nice way to start like breaking this up because it's like a f super flat face right now, which is okay, but I don't know. I think it could be a little nicer, so I'm just going to try it on here as well. And it might break there because there's a lot of end guns and stuff, but let's see. So again, I'm not trying to do too much. I just want to see if we can add some, you know, different angles here and make this like top face a little bit more interesting and maybe like kind of bring this cut all the way through. So it actually looks pretty cool. So I'm actually gonna, I should think about that some more. So maybe instead of having that go all the way through there, we so put a vert here. Where was it going before? Vert here to here? Yeah, let's try that. Um, put this here. Pull this out a little bit. Here to here. Grab this edge. Rotate face. Just pull this down a little bit. And the cool part about this plugin is like you can easily edit it later. Yeah, there we go. And let's see how that actually looks with everything there. So you get a little hint of it, a little hint of it, and then the boolean there. And then that's a little bit sloppy, but maybe in the render it'll clean up. This definitely needs to be fixed, but let's see. Yeah, so that definitely helps break all these flat faces up a little bit. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll actually go back here and I select the edge again and then rotate face and then maybe just bring it down a little bit more so we get like a nice light hit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, not super happy with this in general, um, but just got to kind of make my way through it and try to find some really cool stuff to learn while I'm going. But yeah, great tool, really great tool. I'm looking forward to using this more for uh, other stuff.